first of all, I'm doing the eyebrows here. I'm using the, the face shape eyebrow pencil here, number three is a brown color. I like this one because it has two heads. One is the pencil, so I can just fit it out, and then I just can turn the other head. This is a brush, and I can just brush all of it. You know, the pencil light out just so it looks more natural. Next thing, I'm using the L Small Angle Brush just to shape in it up a little bit for my eyebrow. And I also use the Essence Soft Touch Blue Makeup. This is number four, it's a matte ivory. So I'm using it just pretty much as a concealer um, so I can sharpen my eyebrow up a little bit, make it more sharp. Next thing, I also use the same Essence of Touch Mousse uh, for my eye primer. I love this thing because it basically feels like a primer and I also use this as a concealer and the foundation also. Here I'm using the Eco Tool Blending Brush and pick up some of the brown color from my ELF 22 Pieces Mini All The Go palette just to put on in the corner. Then I pick up some darker brow just to dip it up my eyes. Yeah. Also I'm using the L Flawless Concealer Brush just to blend everything out. Then of course I'm picking up some kind of like a white-ish glittery color for my eyelid. Next, to making some wing, I'm using my mom uh, waterproof eyeliner. This has the same texture as the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner, so I put the picture of it next to it instead. And of course, your eyes is not complete without the eyelashes. I got this whole box, I think it's like what, like 10 15 pair from a makeup artist here in Vietnam and it is $4. This is pretty much the box. Next thing I'm using the Elf Small Stipple Brush. Uh, then I'm planning the Essence of Touch Makeup, you know, the mousse makeup on my face just for the foundation. This gives you a very, very light uh, foundation or cover for your face. And don't forget to put on your lips if you want the, your lip color to pop out better. Of course, your neck and your ear is also have to put in the lips. Then I'm using a Real Technique Ball Metal number 301 flat contour brush to do my contour. This palette, I must say, the color is very, very vibrant. Like I did not expect it. So here I'm just doing the contouring on my face and I'm doing the number 3 technique. So pretty much I'm just drawing a number 3 on both sides of my face. Then, of course, you gotta just blend everything out, no harsh light. Harsh light is not cute, guys. And of course, is anybody out there just like me that I have to contour my nose also? Because I always, always have the problem of feeling that my nose is a little bit big. So, yep. Then of course, next thing you do, we just blend it out. Next thing, I'm using my Elf Angle Blush Brush just to put some of the blush on my cheek bone. I love this brush. I usually use this brush for contouring also, but I don't know why today I just use the other one. This brush just makes the planning process is much, much, much easier.
then I'm also use the highlighter color in this palette just for my highlighter. I love this color because it just I just feel like it's bright enough, guys. Like it's not so crazy, but it's just enough to pop out some of the light on your cheek, your nose, and it just give you a some kiss feeling. Next thing I'm putting some color on my lips, yeah. So I pick it the last color and put it on with my finger. I don't know why, I just don't really like the lip brush that much. So I'm picking this color because I think it's kind of like natural color for my lips and it will go with my theme today, so yeah. So it's pretty much done here, but then I just figured out just you know just put some lighter color just to pop it out a little bit, just give it a fuller color lips kind of thing. And that is all done, guys. That's the whole look. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, love you. Bye.